Okay. You guys, my hat goes up your mouth goes shut. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Quit talking, you guys, in the back row, Matt. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my presentation on a famous wrestler named Bret Hart. Woo! Yeah. Uh, who is Bret, the Hitman Hart? So, he started wrestling back in, I think it was 91. He started wrestling in Calgary. He was also born in Calgary. He started wrestling in Stampede Wrestling, which is, um, it was a local business run by his father, Stu Hart. He's also another legend. Uh, Stu was who trained Bret Hart in his basement called the Hart Dungeon. Uh, a lot of famous wrestlers also, um, they trained in the Hart Dungeon. Or, some people have also, like, visited there and took lessons, um, there's some former wrestlers also on uh, WWE's roster that have been in the Heart Dungeon, like Tyson Kidd, who is out with an injury right now. Uh, Chris Jericho trained a little bit there, so forth. Um, Bret Hart was, he kind of went all around the world. He was in Japan at one point. Most famously, he was in uh, America wrestling for WWE, WCW, and uh, he kind of juggled back and forth from there. Um, this is kind of what made Bret Hart famous. Um, back in, I think, 1997, there was an incident that occurred with him. Because everybody knows here that wrestling is scripted. It's not really real. But there was an incident because Bret Hart was about to jump from uh, his, where he currently worked to a different promotion. And he was scheduled on that night to, um, I think, win the championship. And then he was going to jump ship. So uh, the owner of WWE, Vince McMahon, decided to screw Brett over in his match and didn't tell him about it beforehand. So it, um, it caused this chain of effects that um, ended up making Bret Hart spit in Mc Vince McMahon's face on live television. Such a good moment. I never watched it live because that's when I was born. Yeah, um, yeah, Bret Hart jumped to WCW, then he jumped back to WWE and made rep for, he made uh, amends for what he had done and what Vince had done. So yeah, it was just recently announced that Bret Hart has prostate cancer. It's really sad because I, I love Bret Hart. He's he's one of my favorite wrestlers, Calgary native. Oh God. <laughs> um, also, legends like Dusty Rhodes, Roddy Piper. If you're big wrestling fans, those are some really big names. They all died like last year, probably in between September and uh, December. Those are some sad names to see go. Um, yeah, so there's a quote up there that Brett said he would, he would fight fiercely through the cancer like he's always done throughout his life. And hopefully he's going to get through it, maybe. <laughs> um, there's also, uh, they just recently did an interview with him where he was traveling around Calgary with uh, CBC Calgary. And it's a pretty cool interview if you want to go see that.